Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is you are watching this, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of Self Converting This Camper. I'm very excited for today because we are going to be building the kitchen doors and the kitchen drawers. Hopefully, it all goes well. We've got some soft close, push to close runs, and we've got some soft close door hinges as well. I'm very excited because I'm building these doors and I'm taking inspiration from a friend of mine, Debbie and her partner. Their Instagram for their van will be here somewhere. Um, I just absolutely love the way they've done their doors and I've taken inspiration. Maybe probably going to be copying them because I just love them so much. I might change it a little bit, but... Um, yeah, I've been speaking to these guys for a while. They're a German couple and they're just awesome people. Hopefully we get to meet on the road one day. Um, but I've taken inspiration from their van. Um, but yeah, I'll go. I'll link up their Instagram. Go check them out. They're fucking awesome. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's uh, get into this episode and start building some kitchen doors and kitchen drawers. This van really is starting to come to life. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to be using to make up the doors is I've got some 6 mil ply and also some 12 mil timber. This is 12 by 44. So once it's put together, that will give us the 18 mil thickness of a door. So remember when we've done the worktops, we put 18 mil thickness lip for the worktop. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to cut the ply down first, get our measurements, and then go from there, I guess. Um, I need to make sure that my cuts are straight, 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 but uh, I'm excited. Okay, so we've got the template for the two doors made up, and now we're going to be building a wooden frame around it. I've got some 12mm by 44mm PSC whitewood. And we're going to be mitering around each corner and then there's going to be a bit going through like that. Hopefully. But uh, let's start building the frames for it. change it was getting a little bit too hot got the guns out <laughs> but uh we've got two of the doors done they're glued up clamped up we're waiting for the glue to dry so we can continue with them um now i'm going to make up the third door do the exactly same as what well. i've done that and then we're gonna not decorate them but um continue with building them i need to wait for the glue to dry off before i can continue so we're going to do this other door and then Hopefully it might be dry by then, but uh, we'll see. Three doors are made up just waiting for the glue to dry whilst I'm waiting for that to dry I'm gonna get some lunch and then we will continue with making up these doors so far so good okay, so the glue has dried now and what we're gonna do is start decorating them and what I'm gonna do is cut bits and have 
a diagonal pattern like that on all three and then the bit I am most excited for is we've got this wicker type stuff which we're going to be painting dark walnut the same color as the roof which is going to be going on the background to give it some character and some detail so yeah very excited and hope these turn out lovely but we'll see we'll see again I copied not copied yes copied inspiration from Debbie and her partner go check them out they've got an awesome van so thank you very much for the inspiration guys <laughs> Just masked up the borders we are now going to be painting the wicker the walnut color that I want so it matches the worktop and the ceiling I'm really proud of these so far hopefully I don't ruin it with the painting but uh, we'll see wicker is painted I'm struggling a little bit because it's insanely hot and I burn as well even though I've been using sun cream um, plan is now I'm gonna make a start on the drawers um, I have put a couple rails in already just to test run it and get my measurements um, so we're gonna start building the drawers and see how we get on with that past 45 minutes far arse in with this draw still need to make some adjustments but for size it's not too bad still trying to I should lock in which it doesn't really want to there you go it's locked in now so confusing. So we've got one cupboard in. We are. We do need to decorate them. I am burnt to shit. Um, I'm gonna call it a day there. I'm just so hot and bothered. Um, I'm gonna go get a cold shower. We're gonna continue tomorrow. Um, we'll get the doors on the kitchen area and we'll finish off the cabinets. So uh, see you bright and early in the morning. Good morning. It's already roasting hot. I have an ice cream. Um, I've adjusted this drawer quickly, um, ready for the front plates we're gonna be making up. And I've just put the other two drawers, runners on now. So what we are going to do is make up, is make up the drawers and get them fitted. And then we're gonna make the decorated front plates and then do the kitchen doors so hopefully by the end of this episode we will have it done let's do this
but the other two drawers are made up. We're going to attach them to the rails and then we are going to do the fronts of them. Um, we are going to be doing similar to what we've done with the doors. I weren't sure about how the colour would turn out for them, but I quite like them. Um, I'm going to paint the actual borders white. I may have said yesterday. Um, same colour as the ceiling, so it'll be nice and unison. Let's get the uh, cupboards in and then start making up the uh, finishing frames. Let's do this. drawers in now fucking lovely um, what we're gonna do now is start decorating the fronts of them um, I already have cut pre-cut the three we're gonna need and we're gonna put a frame around them put that wicker on it and then let it dry and stick them on there and hopefully it should look top-notch and um, what I'm gonna do with these ply this bit of ply, this bit of ply is paint it before I put the wicker on and probably peep. I can't speak as the heat. It's the heat. I'm going to pre paint the wicker as well, probably because it'll make it a little bit easier. Um, and then we'll get cut in the frames. So yeah, let's, uh, let's start painting and I give up. Let's start painting and building frames and then attach them onto there and it should look wow, chef's kiss. Beautiful. stay in the shade as much as possible but I've just painted the ply and it's instantly dry and it's like that hot it's great because I could just crack on I don't have to wait but instant dry and paint I don't think I'm gonna mitre the corners for this these frames I think I'm just gonna do just a standard like square box because I'm fairly low on material like that material and I don't really want to bugger it up so it'll be all right, it'll be all right. But yeah, let's get making the frame. Okay, so the frames are now made up. Uh, I'm just gonna let the glue set off a little bit before we put the wicker on. And then once the wicker's on, we can paint it and then fit them, which is exciting. Um, I am burning left, right and center. I am using sun cream, but I'm still burning my ears. And my camera equipment is turning off because it's overheating. So it's quite difficult to try and record as well. So. I'll try and get what I can, but apologies in advance if I don't cover it all. But um, we're making progress, we're making progress.
absolutely knackered. Um, not going to do the doors today because I need to explore other options in terms of hinges. Um, I've got these hinges. I'm not sure if they're going to work. So I'm going to do a little bit more research into that. Um, I'm going to end it today and then continue with the doors next weekend. So it's still going to be the same episode, I should think. But it's taken me all day to do these. But I absolutely fucking love them. They are. I'm very proud of them. So this is going to be the cutlery drawer. This, I need to get some handles. I've decided I'm going to get some handles for them. But this one's going to be like pots and pans and things maybe. And they're soft clothes as well. And then the bottom one is going to be for maybe camera gear and stuff like that. I've got some good ideas in my head for it. But um, yeah, I, it's taken me all day. They're not perfect, but um, I'm so pleased with them. I, I absolutely love them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to... I think I've ordered up... I've got the right brackets, but I need to order up something else for them as well. But um, yeah, I'm going to continue this next week, possibly. I do go away on the Monday. This video probably won't be out until I get back or whilst I'm still out in Estonia. But yeah. I'll see you next week, which will be in 30 seconds time, if that. So it's the next weekend. Um, got the drawers in. I'm going to be getting the doors in now. I actually have the right things. I did order the hinges, but I didn't order the clips that the hinges go on. So we have that now. And we're going to get these two doors in and then hopefully get the third door in as well. So let's, uh, let's get some door installations in. Let's do some doors. Exciting. So what I'm going to be using to cut out that little hole for the where it sits on the door is one of these Forstner bits. Um, I actually bought a set of these. These I used these from when we done the kitchen units and it worked out quite well. So we're going to be using one of these. Um, we have 16 mil of that. And this needs to be in 11 mil, so it's going to be a little bit dicey, I reckon. But we, it should work, it should work, we will see. But um, we will give it a go. First two doors are in. Now we need to do this one. However, I did balls up a little bit. I've done it a bit too big. So I need to cut it down and basically redo it and start again. So that's how much, I don't know if you can see that mark. That mark there is how much I need to cut it down and basically rebuild it to get it to fit. So we're gonna do that. And then hopefully that's the doors done i think yeah we'll see let's cut it down and rebuild it but it's looking so good i'm so happy with them although i did fuck up a little bit i drilled through too much on there so i need to fill it and then sand it down and fill it again hopefully that will repair it so yeah very exciting times i had to completely remake that door um because as you can see the six mil ply didn't survive. Um, I had to try and rescue some of the border because I was dangerously low, but we made it work. I'm waiting for the glue to dry. The glue was so solid. At least I know it's not going to fall off when driving. Um, so yeah, going to wait for the glue to dry and then we're going to hang that. Um, and then I do have these, where are they? Do have these mag mag magnetic catches 
for the doors. Um, they are actually quite strong, so I don't know whether to fit them now or get some handles and then fit them when I've got the handles so I can still open them. Um, but it's coming along very well. I'm very happy with it so far. Just want to have a quick look at that. I am over the moon about it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's coming together. Look, we have three cupboards. Let's go. Oh, I do need to put the magnetic latches on, but... I am so happy. So, so happy. Oh, man. Two weekends in the making, but we done it. We done it. I'm, on a, I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I need to calm down. Woo! And just like that, the cupboard doors and drawers are in. Considering I'm not a chippy, I am so happy with myself. I did butcher that, but I'll put a bit of wood filler in. Hopefully that will blemish it out. But um, I'm going to end this episode here. I think next episode, what I'm planning, planning on doing is finishing off, now that we can, we've got the tiling in, is finish off the cladding around the top bins. Not top bins, why did I say that? Around the top. And then, potentially, start installing some appliances. So I have ordered a two-ring burner hob as well, which is coming tomorrow or Monday. Um, we've got the basin, we've got the tap. Once we get them in, we could start thinking about doing the plumbing. I'm really happy with myself. Which, yeah, I, I, I'm just happy with myself. So, if you did enjoy this episode, please give us a thumbs up because I am sweating in the heat. I am dedicated to this. Last weekend, I spent seven hours a day in the direct sunlight. I burnt like a crisp just to get these drawers in. So I'm dedicated to this. So you should smash that thumbs up button. And if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button. It's free. It supports me. You'll be notified whenever I post a new video. So we'll see you in the next episode, my friends. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.